Hello friends, this is I'm Fari here and I'm just doing this video today to show you guys how to do Bluetooth hacking using a Miposaur. So first of all, you see here on my computer that there's the Bluetooth protocol released on their website. And this way you can just do your own custom lights, sounds, and all kinds of fun things using Miposaur's Bluetooth protocol. So just here's a few fun tips I'm going to show you today. So one of the fun things that you can do is play Miposaur's animations by using NRF Connect or another Bluetooth app, and you, t and you type in 76, and then for the second value, you write in the number of the animation that you want Miposaur to play, and then you send it, see this? And for example, I will type in animation 1 on my phone. See here, I'm using NRF Connect on my old phone to do this, so you, anyone can download this for free on your phone. If you're try, if you're trying to make your Miposaur do these custom skits, and then now I show you a few other animations. And of course, there's a play sound, which will go through all of Miposaur's sound files that are on the app or on the with it, that are programmed with the dinosaur itself. So the first thing you type in to make it play a sound file is 06, and then for the second value, you add anything from 1 to, I think, 155 in, in hexadecimal to get it to play its various sound files. So I will show you a few here. Now here's your value two. For some reason it's not working. Then again, there's about a hundred of these, so I'm not going to play all of them today, otherwise this video is going to take two hours, which if I don't think you want to hear me talk for two hours. And then, definitely one of my favorites is the color, is the chest LED color change, which you can basically make it any, any hex color you want by typing in 83 for the first value and then typing in the six digit hex code value depending on what you want the color to be. So first I'm going to type in red, which is hex code FF0000, which I will do in a second here.
voila, it's red. See? Red. So now I'll do orange next. So that's kind of an orangish yellow, but there's a lot of different hex codes that you can use for, for darker or lighter orange, which I have tried and it does work for the chest LED. Next I will show you yellow, which is FFFF00. See here, this is yellow. I don't know why this lighting is so bad in my apartment here, but see, you can see this is, you can see well enough that this is yellow. Then I will try green next, which is 00FF00 using the hexadecimal color coding. Now you see it is that his chest LED is bright green. I will, now I will try blue. Which is zero, 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 zero FF. As you can see here, now it was just kind of a dark blue color. And then you can also do, you can also turn it off by, you can also turn the light off by typing in all zeros or black, or you can make it white, like I'm going to show you by typing in all Fs for the six digit hex code. So you can basically make its, LED, its back slash chest LED color anything you want, which is pretty cool. See, now you made it, now I made it white. And then another kind of fun thing you can do is you can set your MIPA sort of drive certain distances. So I type that in, I type in using NRF Connect again on my old crappy phone. You type in 70. And then for the next value, you type in if it's forward or backwards. I'm going to do forward, so I will type in 00, zero and then type in 25 because I want it to go 25 centimeters. I send it. Sometimes this one works, sometimes it doesn't. So I think he's on his butt, which isn't going to help anything. There we go. See, there he goes. Now he's going to run into this thing. So then now I make him go backwards by doing the same thing where I type in 7001 to make him go backwards. And then 25 centimeters. See, there you go. He's going backwards. So this is just kind of a cool trick you can do to make your Miposaur do... If you want to make, decide to make it do skits, make it do whatever color LED you want, have it play its different sounds, using this NRF Connect Bluetooth protocol is a fun way to make your Miposaur do more than what's available on the app, which there's a bunch of other options on the, on the protocol, which I will post in this video. But thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed what I was able to show you, and I hope you, that you can figure out using a lot more on your Miposaur and make it a lot less cringy than this video was. So, so thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.